Am I live? Am I not live? <laughs> I would love to show you today an entire face yoga routine to get you started perfectly into the new year. So um, what I'm going to do is um, today uh, really explain you what face yoga is a little bit about. And I show you really from your shoulders up to your head what you can do at home to really get a glow up. Um, before we generally start with face yoga and overall um, the exercises, I would love to tell you um, what it's what is actually face yoga? So face yoga is basically the science um, or the practice of um, engaging certain muscle groups and also releasing the tension. And honestly, the second one is definitely more important because throughout our lives, we hold a lot of tension in our faces. So for example, if we run through life and we are frowning our forehead or we are grinding our teeth or we are constantly looking at our phones like this. And then of course, our um, muscles right here get tense, which can have a huge impact on, for example, uh, facial asymmetry or generally also headaches and which can cause migraines and generally then really dampen your mood. So what we're going to do today is um, to show you or like I will show you um, what to do uh, to in order to prevent headaches, in order to um, give you an amazing glow for your skin, and also to prevent wrinkles in the long run because we want to relax certain muscles. And also, guys, bear with me. This is my first ever live in that matter um, uh, in a private group. So uh, if you have any questions, if you have anything you would like to see, I will absolutely take that into consideration because this is why we are here. This is why um, we want to like, how do you say, get uh, together in a smaller group, so to speak. So you have the opportunity to ask me actually uh, questions. So um, I think without further ado, honestly, let's just start and make it fun. And um, I'll stand up because this is our little pyjama party. And you probably think like, okay, this is crazy, but I'm going to make you jump for about a minute to enhance lymphatic drainage and also warm up your body. So let's go. And I'm holding my breast, so nothing is jumping around. But you can also jump like this. And we're going to have fun with it. I should have put actually some music. And keep going. And whoever is like looking and not doing it, at least maybe stand up and do this. Because what happens if we do this kind of movement, it's we are literally enhancing lymphatic flow. Envision like a water glass. And if you, for example, this is your body. And if this is basically not moving and is stagnant, then the water, your lymph, is not moving. So we need to actually activate it to get it going, to get it into the flow. Because your lymphatic system is actually... Uh, one of a half, the half key to a beautiful face. You guys, um, how do you say, like already like warmed up a little bit and I hope you also jumped with me. If not, do it maybe later to warm up your entire system. Um, anyone else? Belgium, I'm from Hamburg, Romania. Ah, hi from Germany. <laughs> um, I think Marcel is also in Germany right now from France. Thank you so much, guys. Amazing. Um, because again, like I actually planned this live completely different, but we had so many people who actually wanted to join. That's why we last minute did it on uh, YouTube. So while we are at it, let's start now with um, lymphatic drainage further. And for that, we are going to use our knuckles and we are going to place them right under our ear. And you can really look right here. Uh, it doesn't need to be an exact point, but... Um, we are starting in circular motion to massage this point. Hello from Bolivia. And you do that in a circular motion and you apply medium to strong pressure. So we are gonna do that and then let's do the other way around. You can open your mouth a little bit 
And as a next step, we're going to actually relax our masseter muscle. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our mouth gently and then move with our knuckles like this down the jaw. And for some people that actually might hurt because we hold a lot of tension there and you go really, really slowly and we go again from, from the top of your cheekbone, so to speak, open your mouth gently and slowly down. Hello from Houston, Venezuela. So cool. And again, let's do two times more. And last one, open your mouth, really deep breathe out, keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your chest open and move the knuckles very, very slowly with strong pressure down your masseter muscle. So this part right here is so important and we hold a lot of tension in this area. And this has a lot also then to do with under eye circles, nasolabial folds. So this part right here needs to be extremely relaxed. So this, if you haven't gotten anything from this video, I hope you come home and, or like if you're home already, um, I, I hope every morning or every evening you remember at least for a couple of minutes, do this. This is also amazing to do honestly while uh, watching a movie. I've did it recently. Like you're watching a movie and you do this and it's amazing to release the tension. So this is what we did. Now we want to actually release the tension and enhance lymphatic drainage even further. And we're going to start stretching our neck and we can gently move our head a little bit front and back. Do we need an oil? Um, great question. Let's keep on going while I'm explaining if you need an oil or not, of course, an oil or moisturizer is great. I hope your hands are actually clean. I'm sorry I didn't say it. Um, let's switch sides and do the same thing right here. Feel the stretch on your neck. So overall, an oil is not necessarily needed because we're going to do um, massages and exercises. I mean, if you have it, good. If not, no problem at all because we are using our fingers as resistance and we're going to do very slow movements. So it's not a problem if you don't have like a crazy slip. Um, the most important is that your hands are actually clean. So second step, now that we gave it a little stretch. So this is our like pathway to have a glow, so to speak. So we're going to tap in gentle motion downwards to activate the limb flow. And this can be quite gentle. Let's do a couple of more on this side. And let's switch sides. Relax, breathe out. <sighs> Amazing. So next thing, what we can actually do is... Um, I'm thinking um, now that we are like a small intimate group, I will definitely take questions and I will show you techniques for your specific needs. But um, let's work our way up and actually work on our double chin. And this is an amazing technique to, which I show quite fast, usually on social media, which is also part of the mewing exercises. It's basically pushing your tongue against the roof of your mouth and pressing it against it. And it looks like this. And if it, if I press it, I will just show you, if I press it against, then look what happens. This becomes right away lifted because you are lifting everything up with the tongue. And also you should feel this engaging. So let's start pressing with our tongue against the roof of our mouth and use our fingers as little testing um, mechanism or like a, uh, like a little um, indicator whether you're doing it right. So we're pressing against and you should feel this engaging. Let's do, let's go. One, two, three, and. This should engage while you're pressing. Keep on pressing because I cannot talk and do the exercise. 
keep on pressing and release. I hope everybody felt this engaging. And this is also an amazing exercise to do um, whenever you are like driving or whenever you are on a commute, because this is something no one sees. And you can really work also on your bone structure because with age, what happens is actually we are losing a lot of bone density, especially around this area here. This is why our nose starts hanging. This is why we get hollow um, uh, um, hollowness under the eyes because this area right here just sinks in. This exercise, which I just showed you, pressing the tongue against the roof of your mouth will um, help you to prevent that. So you are pressing and you are opening your airways. Of course, this will not happen after two times doing it, but if you do it regularly, um, this will this will be something which definitely will um, help you in the long run. Um, why don't we do another round? And actually, I show you another trick. Now we are uh, taking our hand like this. We are using the other hand and make a fist, press it against, and now we are using this as resistance while we are pressing against the roof of our mouth. Keep on pressing and keep the tongue really at the roof of your mouth. Don't press against your teeth and use your hand and your um, fist as resistance when you're pressing and you're feeling this uh, muscle underneath engaging. and release. Please make sure your shoulders are down, your chest is open, and you're breathing evenly. You will not see me make any wrinkles on my face while doing certain poses, because of course this would be um, counterproductive, uh, and um, this would, um, how do you say, like um, prevent you from becoming the most radiant and beautiful um, uh, person you can be, because we do not want to wrinkle our faces. Okay, now that we did um, jumps, we did um, the relaxation of our masseter muscle, and we also activated lymph flow in a certain way, We, I showed you a mewing exercise. Um, what I would love to do next is actually um, an exercise which you can find in our program and all you can face. And I show it also oftentimes uh, in, uh, uh, on Instagram or TikTok. It's called the roundabout, and it looks like this. So envision your tongue pressing against the skin like this and ironing your nasolabial fold out from the inside. And um, what we are going to do, we are going to do this together. And you will really feel that this is a true exercise because it actually is quite tough to do when you do several repetitions. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to do this movement slowly with me together. Um, five times in one direction and five times in the other direction. Let's do it and make sure really your shoulders are relaxed, your chest is open and your face is relaxed. If you feel it in the um, back of your neck, then go out of the post, try to get to go again. It's actually quite normal to feel it because your tongue is literally working. Let's start um, with the roundabout exercise. Five times one direction and then the other. Let's go. One, two, three. and come out. Do this to relax the mouth area. Again, looks probably super funny, but it's very, very good to release the tension in the area right here. Now, as I already said, um, we cre create tension and also resistance, but also relaxation when we do face yoga. I think the next step would be to relax the entire mouth area. Um, we hold a lot of tension in our mouths and oftentimes we are not even realizing this. So for example, if we are stressed, we are pack our mouths or having some maybe negative thoughts and your mouth is tense without you even realizing. And what happens in the long run is actually uh, your mouth 
uh, becomes more tense and tense and tense. I don't have uh, elastic, otherwise I would show you like this ring muscle right here becomes tense and um, then uh, your lips also become thinner. So we think that our lips with age lose collagen and everything like this. Yes, to some extent it's true, but it's oftentimes the muscle which becomes tense. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to close the mouth, relax the entire face and start kneading through the lips. We are not pulling the skin. We are not tugging. We are literally doing this. I will show you and then I will explain a little bit more. So I'm literally kneading as if I have like some Play-Doh through the muscle. And especially you will feel it on the sides. You will feel like uh, maybe like something almost like a stone or like a little tense. Go really in. And let's do it together. Uh, so we are really relaxing our mouth area. Don't forget to breathe. Relax your shoulders. And try to keep on going while I'm explaining a little bit more. Try to go really deep into the muscle. You don't even have to go really fast. In fact, go a little bit slower and really feel the muscle. You can even press it gently and but firmly. Hold it, hold it, breathe through it and envision how the tension starts to release. Whew. come out of the pose or out of this exercise, do this again and relax. So this is an amazing way to maybe end your day. If you were speaking a lot of times and also if your skin gets a little bit red, that's absolutely normal. We increase blood circulation. We want to create warmth. Um, this is where the muscle can release. Um, your skin gets blood circulation. So we want that, but it should not stay for a very long time. Um, and so this kneading technique is an amazing way to end the day. If you were speaking a lot, if you had a lot of stress, do this to release the tension in your mouth. So what next? Um, actually, now that we are like in this small um, intimate group, I think I can actually show you a nose exercise. I think this is very, very popular. And um, usually I don't show them uh, on social media because I think you can do more harm than good if you do it wrong. So what we're going to do is we're going to prevent our nose with this exercise from falling down at some point uh, when we are getting older. We have muscles around our nose and we can engage them. And what we're going to do is, this is the advanced version and I'm going to show you also the beginner's version because a lot of people sometimes will not be able to do that because the muscles are just not trained in a way to do this movement. But if you do it in the long run, you will see uh, level two also my program to do this. So basically we are using our fingers, pressing it um, a little bit, pressing the tip of our nose a little bit up. And now we're using the tip of our nose to press against the resistance. It looks very funny, but it's literally my nose making the movement. You're not engaging your forehead. You're not engaging anything else. You're really focusing on your nose. If you are not able to do this movement and press against the finger, then what we're going to do is you're going to pinch the nose gently or like you just hold it. You're not really pinching it. You are lifting the tip of your nose up and you're using your other hand to push it down. Like this. So you're learning this movement basically, but you're helping with this fingers and relax and 
Also another secret, a lot of people asked me um, if you have facial asymmetry in the nose, this can be a beautiful um, exercise to work on that, um, to straighten it out a little bit. If you see like your nose is tilting a little bit in that side, you can go and uh, lift the tip a little bit on the other side to make it stronger so you are balancing, so to speak, out uh, the nose posture. In fact, if you look at my personal before and after pictures, I've done that to make the nose a little bit more um, symmetrical because this side was a little bit weaker so I had to work on that. Now that we worked on our nose, let me go through the comments. I see Marcel, my partner in crime actually is, um, uh, how do you say, answering a bunch of questions and I'm seeing also some um, requests. I saw some hollowness under the eyes, uh, 11 lines, um, droopy corners of the mouth. Um, Absolutely. I'll take everything into consideration and I will show you um, those uh, techniques. And if you feel warm, that's a great sign, Myra. Amazing. So now that we work the muscles around our nose, we actually want to release the tension. So what we're going to do, we are going to use our fingers and gently move around this area right here and go really, really deep. And the, the movement is like this. The movement is not like this. We are kneading into the muscle like that and move our way upwards. And then once we are up, we can actually use our finger to fixate it and slowly but surely lengthening that muscle again. Lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. And we're going to do this on the other side. Very, very slowly. The slower, the better. And we are actually working really deep with the muscle. We are not pulling or tugging the skin. And release. The skin is, of course, a little bit red, but that's normal. And you can go a little bit like this, go outwards and down. This is also great if you have like um, a little bit puffiness because you increase lymphatic drainage and blood circulation and um, your nose gets a little bit depuffed and it looks a little bit slimmer. Um, okay, next one. Um, I Before we actually uh, continue, let's maybe address the droopiness of the mouth, droopy corners of the mouth. What happens when we have droopy corners of the mouth is like this muscle right here, the depressor muscle, is pulling down. So if we're doing this face, you will feel these muscles engaging. And what we're going to do is we can really go into this area and in circular motion, release the tension. We can also do the same as we did on the nose. And stretch this area and release the tension. Same on the other side. This needs to be done very, very slowly. And I am i have to be honest, I'm actually doing it a little bit too fast because I'm seeing so many questions and I want to show you as much value in this little uh, amount of time we have. So when you're at home and you have droopy mouth um, problems, so to speak, um, do this extremely slowly, extremely slowly. Feel the muscle warming up under your fingers and release the tension. So this is for droopy mouth. Um, now let's actually, uh, do something for the under eyes and we are going to do one of, um, the easier exercises to ac actually engage this muscle right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to look up, squint into the distance as if I want to like look up there and I'm, I want to grasp something, but I can't. What is really important while I'm doing this is the forehead stays relaxed. So only my under eyes are starting to engage and we can use our um, index fingers to gently put them on the under eyes. Now look up and squint into the distance. And the fingers are just there to see whether you're engaging the under eyes or not. So it's basically a little uh, test. If you feel like this muscle right here Mo um, working or even trembling, that's a good sign. So let's do this all together. 
relax your shoulders, open your chest, breathe in and out, place your index fingers gently on, on your under eyes, look up, squint into the distance, engage your under eyes, don't engage your forehead, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold, 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 and release. This is the, so to speak, the easier version. So you're starting to engage this muscle right here. You're holding it and um, you're working on this area. But again, when we are exercising a muscle, we also want to release the tension. So let's do another round of this exercise and then we're going to release the tension, which is, again, shoulders open, breathe in and out and look up. Place your index fingers under your eyes and start to squint into the distance and engage your under eyes and hold. Let's go for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And release. Amazing. So what we're going to do now, we're using our knuckles. We are placing them right under the eyes and gently move outwards. We can give our... Uh, temples a little wiggle for more relaxation and actually I think what is really really nice also fixate this muscle right here and move an outwards motion towards your temples let's do this on the other side as well fixate your index fingers uh, at one index finger at the corner of your eyes and the other right under and give your muscle the muscle especially a little stretch. What is really important is that we are not stretching our skin, but we are really going deep into the muscle. That's very, very important. Um, what else? What else? Hollowness under the eyes. By the way, whoever asked hollowness under the eyes is basically, this is an amazing start, ex start exercise, so to speak, but there's tons more. And um, uh, let's cover a little bit more ground and uh, do the face holistically. So what we're going to do is basically uh, the frown lines. The frown lines are basically um, uh, created by the forehead muscle, the muscle uh, which obviously makes you frown, and your orbicularis oculi muscle. Sorry, oris is mouth. Um, and so what we're going to do is basically um, we're going to take this muscle, really grab the muscle, not the skin, and we are giving this entire area a little wiggle. So hold this firm. It literally looks like this. If you can't, then start at least going into that area. Because honestly, this is just a sign that your um, muscle right here is super tense. So go right here and move outwards. It's also amazing for hooded eyes. You can use your thumbs, move down, also another little hack, um, move towards your temple and down your neck to enhance lymphatic drainage. Let's do that another time. If you hold a lot of tension right here, this is an amazing way to relax. So we are grabbing the muscle right here and we are really pressing into it. We are breathing evenly and deeply and we are moving outwards. and down amazing you can do that um, several times through and i think this is like an amazing technique to really release the tension we do not want to exercise this area of course let's do something for um, hooded eyes or this is not a long-term fix but i think this is like a little cool pick me up if you are um tired or if you have heavy eyelids what we're going to do is we're going to place our um, hands at the corners of our eyebrows and cover our head and gently lift our eyebrows up. The shoulders are relaxed. We are breathing evenly, so we are not doing this. We are keeping everything relaxed. We are pulling the skin or like our eyebrows up. And now we are looking down like this. One, two. So we are blinking or gazing down 20 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Next round, one, two, don't lose the pressure, three, four, five, six, keep pulling, seven, eight, don't forget to breathe, nine, ten, and relax. <sighs> you will see right away, you basically gave your eyelid a little stretch. So you should feel like your eyelids a little bit opening up, lymph fluid can drain out and you're just a little bit more awake. You can even see it in um, my eyes a little bit. So whenever you are tired, whenever you want to look a little bit open in your gaze, um, this is it, so to speak. Okay, last thing, um, maybe let's do something for the cheeks. And uh, there's an amazing exercise uh, which I love to do and it looks like this. We are working out these muscles right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a fish face which looks like this. Or if you can't, imagine you are holding a tiny little straw in your mouth like this. And you are holding this pose. Again, shoulders are relaxed, chest is open, you're breathing evenly. And what you're going to do is you're going to either do a fish face or like you hold your straw and you're going to smile while holding this pose towards your ears diagonally up. We are not going to smile like this. So we are not doing this. Because here you will see my under eyes engage. What we want to do is actually we want to make our um, cheekbone muscle work. So this it looks like this. My eyes are barely moving. Of course, everything is connected and layered on top of each other in terms of muscle. So, of course, you're engaging in a certain way also other muscle groups. But we are focusing on this one right here. So, um, let's do this for five times together. Open your chest, breathe out, make a fish face or like an O. And let's go. And relax. You can do this up to 15 to 20 times daily. And don't despair. If you feel like this is not moving at all, this is absolutely normal because um, if you are not used to actively engaging certain muscles and isolating them, you're just generally not used to it. So you can absolutely envision this. In fact, in the beginning when I started, uh, nothing was moving at all and now Everything is kind of like active and moving. And this is what we want because we want to have like blood circulation going. We want lymph flow. We want movement. We want warmth. And um, this is what will keep you glowing for longer. So this is uh, in terms of um, facial cheekbones, so to speak. Um, and then what we also can do is um, a couple of massage techniques to release the tension um, or increase blood circulation as well. Um, what we can do is use our knuckles. I think your knuckles are your best beauty tool ever. So whoever also has um, long nails, this is an amazing way to, instead of using your fingers, uh, use your knuckles. So we can place them right here and hug your cheekbones um, in with your knuckles like this and glide towards your ears. I'm happy you liked it, Catherine. Nadine, I'm so, so happy too. I'm generally very happy that you guys are here, honestly. So let's go and keep on going. What we can also do is like something like this hook movement is amazing to carve out your cheeks and also relax um, a little bit. And also let's do the other side. And enhance blood circulation. You can also use your knuckles to really, how do you say, hook in your jawline and move all the lymph fluid out and down. Envision how you're really moving all this lymph fluid out and down. What happens is basically oftentimes, I repeat myself, but um, I like to do it again. You're probably not fat and you're not having a double chin due to that. You're oftentimes having probably bad posture and generally that's where all then the lymph fluid accumulates. And this is when we get our double chin, um, especially when we are looking at our phones constantly like this, when we are in the front of our computers. So this is what basically happens. Um, 
Last thing, we're going to work on our scalp because uh, talking about the face and not talking about the neck and the scalp is actually a crime. So um, we are definitely going to do that now. And what we're going to do is we are going to test, first of all, how elastic our scalp is. You can go in different areas of your scalp and you can ask yourself, does this area move? Like here, do you see like my skin is completely moving? You can also go back. Does it move or is it more stagnant? Do you even feel like a little layer of fluid under it um, or it even is painful? Um, if so, we want to release the tension in that area. That means we need to make this area very elastic because if this area is not moving, what happens is if you are expressing yourself and you are like, wow, and people think I have Botox in my face, but I don't because I basically can isolate this muscle and the movement walks through, so to speak. It goes like this, like this, um, because everything else is elastic. Imagine like this is very stuck and I do this. And of course, this is happening. You see, my wrinkles are accumulating. So the scalp is extremely important for uh, blood flow, lymphatic drainage, and generally make you depuffed. So now that we made this test and for whoever is basically thinking, oh, this is a little bit um, stuck, um, there's different techniques we're going to use. First, we're going to go into the tissue and start massaging the skin. And the best way to do so, and this is like more on the bigger scale, you see my scalp is completely moving. You can also go a little bit in the back. What you can also do is literally using your hair in opposite directions and do this across your entire scalp. And if your face starts to warm up, that's an amazing sign. Do this really in the back also. And continue and release. So I know your hair will probably look crazy, but it will give you also a little bit of volume. But also this, do it very slowly. If you are in front of your computer or in front of the TV, um, just make it a habit a little bit to massage your scalp to make it elastic. And with that being said, I think we started with lymphatic drainage. We started um, with working on our masseter muscle, on our double chin, on the nasolabial folds, nose, under eyes, cheeks frowning lines and also lift our hollow, uh, like droopy eyes, I would say. Um, is there anything else um, you would like to know? Exercise for crow's feet and horizontal lines across forehead. Okay, crow's feet. Um, let's maybe understand how they basically come across. So crow's feet are these little lines right here. They can come due to dehydration because this area uh, in terms of skin is extremely thin. So um, if you uh, are exposed to the sun and oftentimes even if we pre uh, preach sunscreen all the time this area gets forgotten it oftentimes gets also dehydrated and then uh, this uh, these lines occur but it can also be tension uh, in this area due to muscle spasm so what we're going to do is actually we're going to place one hand um, under our eyebrow and the other right underneath and we're going to slowly but surely move and opposite directions like this in outwards motion very very slowly you can even do it in two and go really really slowly so also right away your eye starts to lift you see like this is already like a little bit more lifted and it will also release the tension so let's do the other side And do it very, very slowly. Go really deep into the muscle and release. You can do it, of course, a little bit longer. Now, let's talk about necklines. Necklines actually are oftentimes due to uh, posture issues. So um, first things first, um, start working on your posture. And that's really starting with body exercises. One amazing one is actually the chest opener. Like you can place your hands on your shoulders like this and move outwards as if you are pressing a little um, orange in between your shoulder blades and open your chest. 
This is something you can do for two minutes straight. While I'm talking, I can actually do this with you. And open your chest, open everything here to uh, then combat necklines. This is a very simplistic answer, to be honest, because you need to, um, when it comes to neckline, work on your entire neck, on also the back of your neck and generally posture. Um, so I hope this at least helps a little bit to answer this and uh, you will take it into your uh, day and um, work on that. So pucker lines around mouth and I just did a um, mouth relaxation um, exercise or like massage. I have it also in my program. So this is basically what I've just did with you. It was a little bit longer than usual because I had to walk through the exercise with you. But if you have these exercises down, um, it literally will take you around 10 to 15 minutes daily to do this. And um, when you start to do this, you will start gaining more awareness over your muscles, what is moving and what is not. You are having a complete different understanding of um, your skin, your face, and what is actually capable to do if you are putting in the work. And I think uh, with that being said, I think there couldn't be any better um, start into the year then literally maybe giving face yoga a go and do it on a regular basis. So um, maybe check out our app, check out my social channels. You can find me anywhere at all you can face and um, start with face yoga regularly. Uh, by the way, guys, this was really my first time doing this. I hope you saw me uh, okay. And um, this was more like a holistic um, introduction, but I think we can also dive deeper into topics. And I will do that also with, um, especially with my um, members of my program at allyoucanface.com, so the app um, also. And um, yeah, with that being said, I know these times are not really easy for, um, most of us, um, the world is going through a crazy time right now. And um, with that being said, I just hope you will find a glimpse of positivity in that. And I hope I could just bring you that with a little bit of face yoga, with a little bit of self-love. I send you so much love and light. And I hope to see you more on All You Can Face. I'm here in case you have questions. And um, thank you so much for your uh, positive comments. I'm sending you much love wherever you are. Have a wonderful start into the new year. And... I hope you really start with face yoga in the next year. Isabel, hello. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Mwah.